Hello everyone and welcome back to Journal the Word in our Book of Notes. Today, 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 we are going to be tearing and pasting. And I'm going to show you, I think, about three different ways to tear and the reason to do different ways of tearing. <laughs> but we are going to be just using some pages out of magazines today. Everybody has an old magazine sitting around. Um, these came from the Southern Living, and uh, um, I find it's nice because it's got good advertisements, and it always has good big pictures in it. So we're going to be using those. This one is all about flowers and trees, and this little set is about skies and beach and ocean. And so there's lots of different things. And I even saw in here that I might make at some point in time food ones. Of course, Southern Living always has really good food ones, but they've got some delightful food pictures. So this one's all about strawberries. So wouldn't that be fun? I think so. So anyway, let me put that out of the way. And let me get in here and show you some of the ways to tear. I'm going to show you on this. Hopefully, this is easy to see. Let me make sure I'm on screen here. Um, the way to just free tear. Okay, so free tearing, you can tear toward you with this hand, with your good hand. And see what that does? Let me hold it up close. That gives this really nice edge this white kind of edge to that piece. That's tearing this way. If you tear the opposite way with your other hand and pull towards yourself, you get this edge that's clean that does not have a white part. The white part of the paper shows up on that other one. So the first way is this way, and you get this nice white edge. And this way you pull and you just get the photo or the photo or whatever is the image is on your paper. I hope that's making sense. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like, did I explain that well? <laughs> Okay, and my second way of tearing is with a um, with a metal edged ruler, and that gives you a much cleaner edge. If you just come in here like this, you can see how that works. So that is, and there's no reason to do it this way or that way. It just that's just the way to tear with a ruler. <laughs> Okay, so the next way, and it is one of my favorite ways to tear paper, is just to fold it first in one direction, and then fold it in the opposite direction. And let me get my little water bottle open here, and then come along the edge and wet it. You can do this with a sponge or a lot of times I lick it, which may not, I don't want to advise you to lick anything because especially now when we're all cognizant about germs, I don't want to talk about that. But anyway, just get it wet along there and tear that. And that really gives a really fine what is called a decal edge. Can you see that? How cool is that? So there on one piece of paper is our three different ways of tearing of the trees of the South. That's one of the reasons I love living in the South. 
The marshes are definitely one of the things I moved to the South for or <laughs> love about the South and love living in the South is the marshes. Um, actually, that looks like a picture from my island. It isn't, I don't think. Um, that's in Georgia, but we have several spots like that on my little island that are just wondrous for me. So let's see which one I want to put in the background. I think I may put that one in the background. And I may put this one over that. And I may tear it so that is at the top. That might be the way. So just kind of like arrange your pictures so you see kind of what the steps are going to be. I call this a stepped, um, a stepped layout or a stepped, they're actually form pockets. So one thing to know about junk journals is that there's lots of things called tuck spots or pockets or envelopes that we make in the junk journal world so that we can um, just make those little cards and little things that we put in there. And I think I might have this one down at the bottom. So, okay, I think I've got my steps, as we will call them. So let's just begin tearing. So this one I can actually just leave like that, and I'm going to tear the top. And this doesn't really matter because this is going to be over the edge, and I will probably trim that back. Let's see. Let's see what we will do. Okay, and this one I'm gonna put like right in there. So I'm gonna tear it. And the first method of tearing that I showed you, cause I want that little white edge. I do want that little white edge to show. All right, so I'm gonna just tear off the bottom there. So I think that's how it's going to go. And this one, oh, I just love, love, love that. So this one's going to be in here right like this. And actually that could be, that could be the top layer, couldn't it? Where it says discover. So I may, I may do that. Just leave that as our top layer and find something else to go in between. Actually, that's pretty good right like that. We wouldn't have to go any further. But let me see if this looks good in there. I think that's gonna look nice in there. So maybe take those little topiaries So I think we're doing pretty good with that. So I have to tear this edge. And sometimes it's a little hard to tear a tiny little strip. So just keep your finger with so it will tear a little bit. So you don't lose too much of the picture. That's a whole lot rougher than our other ones, but that's okay. That is okay. So I think we've got our little pockets and I kind of like what's going on there. So I think I'm just gonna leave this right like this. I think we're good, don't you think? Okay, so let's put these over and let me show you how to glue. You can use any kind of glue that you want. You can actually, you could use tape along the edges, but I am just gonna use this and put a couple of spots just right at the top. That's what I need. 
is I need this top to stay down. I don't want it flapping, flapping, flapping. So let me back it off just a little bit. Try to get it straight in there. This edge is going to be more pronounced, so make, try to get that edge a little straighter. So I think we're doing good on that. So let's get our other one. And I think that's about where it was. So again, we're just going to put the glue right there at the tippy top. And there's a reason to do this in our junk journaling. So again, let's try to get this edge as straight as we possibly can. Use that visually over there. That will be our guideline, will be this edge of our page. And we don't, for the first time, we don't need that protective sheet in there because we're not getting too wet today. Okay, so, wow, that was pretty neat in and of itself. So let me figure out where this one's going to go. And this one. I think I put that one down a little far so let me move that up just a hair luckily the glue has a little bit of time to have some movement in there I love that purple pink color okay I'm just going to tear a little bit off the bottom here because I want this Discover to be, like, right there. So I think that's pretty good. So I'm going to leave that in place and just fold this tip back and put the glue right there and fold this tip back and put the glue right there. Even much, not leaving much of my little topiary to see. So let me move that up just a hair. And that's what this kind of art is. It's all about movement and practice and what we're going to, where we're going to put what. Um, glue those top edges. Let me get my little lid back on. And put that down. And I think I'm going to peel that back and move my little pink flowers up once again. Now it's getting dry, so it's getting harder to move. But we still have some time. This is not so straight, so let me get that back off and straighten up this edge. That's the important edge. So then I am going to 
fold this back now that I have all that done and I am going to anchor along the side here. Just run a little bead of glue down the sides. And press that down firmly. And I am, of course, we have to let this dry before we do much else for it. But remember, we're just doing backgrounds here. And I was actually thinking about maybe cutting this flower since it's a lily and putting it on there to embellish it. But again, this is just a background, so I don't want to get too far out of our comfort zone here. I want to remember that it is a background. But let me get what you normally put in a uh, junk journal and let me put it in these pockets and let you see what that looks like. Here are some tags I have made previously. So this is the kind of thing you do in junk journals is make these tag like things. These are darn sticking together. Boo! And you would just put them in here. That's another thing about the south is it gets really, really humid. So that's kind of what it would look like if we put our tags in there. And of course you can put a tag in the top as well. But that kind of is the idea here for our little background page. This would make pockets or what I call stepped tuck spots. So I hope you have enjoyed this and you will again get out your glue and um, I'm teaching you this. I hope you understand that, that my method of teaching is to kind of show you all these little principles and give you ideas. That's what I want to do is I want to Spur the ideas in your head so that you will begin to start thinking about things in a different way and thinking about the things that you have around your home, your junk mail and your um, receipts and those kind of things that you don't save or that go into a landfill and how you can recycle them and use them in art. And isn't that beautiful? Isn't that just beautiful? Didn't take much. Again, you can do this with your children. You can do this as a whole family project. And just have fun with it. But see how that looks. I always turn these sideways so I can hold it up here for you. So that you can see all the different little tuck spots here and you can see the white edges because why we tore it in a specific way to get that white edge so we've got one two three four little tuck spots which are fun 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 and i'm not gonna i'm not gonna close the bottom because a lot of times we call these belly bands in the junk journaling area where you just put something in there and it sticks out both sides. So now you've learned another term in our little series here. Uh, this is not going to stop the backgrounds. We are going to be creating the backgrounds for 40 days. But after that, we're going to do some wonderful things with these backgrounds. Again, I love you and may joy be with you all.